Hi everybody, uh, I just want to do a quick little discussion on wealth in the United States. Um, what we're looking at right here is the medium household income map uh, for the United States by counties. So you can kind of see that um, a lot of wealth um, actually is over in kind of the East Coast. Um, and uh, it's basically centered around uh, Washington, D.C. here. and actually uh kind of the suburban areas outside of new york city um, and then you can see um, over here uh, in california uh, there's kind of a nice little pocket of uh, some wealth here um, and then up here in the uh, seattle area you got some uh, stuff out in colorado and uh, wyoming illinois chicago uh, minneapolis north dakota and uh, down here in Houston. Um, so uh, there is a detailed map uh, I wanted to look at. Um, let me pause this for a second. So here is a little more detailed map uh, so you can kind of see Washington, D.C. Um, and some of the East Coast. Uh, let me show you some of the other major large cities. There's a quick little image of Chicago. I uh, kind of see kind of north side and suburban areas. San Francisco Bay Area, you can kind of see uh, some of the peninsula um, and kind of East Bay and then uh, North Bay here. Um, Los Angeles is kind of interesting to see up in the hills here uh, and just outside of LA. So uh, actually it's interesting because a lot of the wealth uh, actually isn't right downtown, um, but you can kind of see some pockets um, connected uh, near kind of out in the suburbs. Here you can kind of see some Seattle area um, situation. Um, so, in general, uh, we just looked at a bunch of different cities. Uh, we could probably go also check uh, Houston and Miami. I'll do that next, and maybe Dallas and Atlanta. Uh, but you can see uh, basically where the population is um, is uh, some of the main areas. So we kind of looked at New York and Washington D.C., um, and you can kind of see some details here on the population map. The Earth at Night map also gives you a pretty good indicator. Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, electricity and uh, uh, money in some of these similar places. So you can kind of see, um, here you can see quite a large suburban sprawl for Chicago, um, Florida having quite a lot of people here, um, and then obviously the East Coast and West Coast. Some people like to use property taxes. Um, here's a pretty good uh, property tax map. You kind of see, uh, you know, a lot of the prices being quite high here on the west coast um down here in houston and then of course uh, all on the east coast property taxes being quite high and here is kind of another interesting map uh, showing the average income of the top one percent um, so you can kind of see um different locations having where the top one percent is actually um doing quite well um in certain areas, uh, but not necessarily in other areas. Tax rate isn't really necessarily considered um, a factor, but you can kind of see, um, you know, different areas. Uh, this is the combined tax rate um, for, uh, you know, federal and state taxes. And you see it's pretty much above 20% in every state. Um, you see some states uh, getting quite high there with almost 30%, um, but kind of interesting just to see the map. I really like this map a lot um, because it tells you that even though, for example, in New York here or California, the relative value of $100, um, you know, you can get more for your money on South Dakota or even in Illinois, um, Florida looks like it's doing pretty good on the amount of money that you get for $100. Um, so not necessarily um, equivalent. You might have to multiply it by um, cost of living adjustments and things like that. Here's a more detailed map of that. Um, if you wanted it, you can kind of see um, it's got kind of more per county. I couldn't find the same one on the Tax Foundation website. It was basically just per state, so they had that uh, there. But you can kind of see the outside of uh, San Francisco Bay Area. It's maybe getting a little bit more affordable. But anyway, another interesting thought uh, is on age, so a life expectancy. And you can see um, that the life expectancy is actually quite high in the Bay Area here and also in uh, Seattle and then kind of in this area here, it looks like it's pretty high as well. So 
that's one factor to consider um, when you can think about wealth. I've really been looking for this for a while. Um, it's kind of a happiness index. Um, it's really hard to measure this, of course. Um, but you can kind of see um, that uh, a lot of people, uh, you know, not necessarily being super happy uh, in some of these areas. Um, another kind of interesting map is the incarceration rate. Um, you can see that, uh, you know, there's quite a lot of people incarcerated down here in Louisiana. Um, and you can see some other areas. And on that same line of thinking is also unemployment rates. So you can kind of see uh, unemployment rate being kind of bad down in here, um, and then also kind of up in the uh, peninsula here. This map is also another interesting cost of living question. This is the latest map for uh, Gas Buddy, I think, here. And you can kind of see per county, you can see that basically along the west coast it is quite expensive uh, for gas, um, getting cheaper uh, down in the Texas. So. Uh, in terms of cost of living, this is one major factor um, and certainly interesting to take a look at. So this is the general um, median household income in the United States going back to 1985. Uh, you can see here it was like $56,000 and now we're up at 71. So some of that is inflation, um, but also just interesting to see um, get that on the Fed economic data page. Um, this map here I kind of like um, because it shows the increases. So you can kind of see here in Oregon and Colorado, um, there's the most increases. Um, and uh, so basically you have a lot of increases in wages on the West Coast in general and also in Idaho uh, and stuff like that. This is kind of interesting just to see by race. Uh, we can see uh, obviously it's different per, uh, values per race, but uh, interesting just to see this. And then when you take everything into consideration, uh, taxes, um, all that, you can kind of see uh, the breakdown here, uh, median income after taxes. So I'll take one last final pan around the United States here, so you can see uh, some of the counties, areas uh, by zip code, um, different areas that have uh, wealth here. But uh, in general, there's a, the most highest concentration is basically in the uh, Washington DC area and also in New York City. Uh, some up here in Boston too, but um, that's just interesting to see and you can kind of break this down. Uh, it shows it only as Washington DC is the top here, um, but uh, you can see the other states uh, doing pretty well too. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed the study. I'll try to post some links and uh, thanks a lot.